Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Strength for Today's Man. We are in volume 30. And I appreciate you guys tuning in today for this brief session. If you're driving, be careful. Keep your eyes on the road. If you're chilling in your office, put your earphones on so you don't be disturbing your co-workers. And thank you for sharing the podcast, for liking the podcast, and subscribing to the podcast it's a daily thing, and I know that sometimes we have to be reminded because we forget, but I do. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate you guys making that extra effort to do that for me. I really do. Yesterday, we had a complete whiteout, and if you don't know what that means, many that live in the snowing capitals of the world, you know what that means. That means it snowed and it was just a complete whiteout. It was awesome. It was awesome because it snowed. This is like the second time it snowed like that here in this area since I've been here. I think the last time it was 2018. And I was in my first year living in the canyon here. And I'm going to tell you, it was freezing. Condition, as they say. It was cold. Man, it was cold. But, you know, I made it through. It was all right. That's why I'm, you know... I'm geared up today because it's chilly and my old bones can't handle the cold like it used to. But let's talk about something that I hear people say, I don't need Jesus. I don't need the Lord. I don't need God. I hear that. And it hurts my heart when I hear that because they don't truly understand the ramification behind a statement like that. I don't need Jesus. I don't need God. And we all need him sometime or another in our life. Look, Mark 2.17 says, Jesus said to them, it is not the healthy who need the doctor, but the sick. I have come not to call the righteous, but the sinners. It's amazing if you walk into a hospital and you see people sitting around in the, in the waiting room. You see people on stretchers. And then all of a sudden you hear people say, I'm not sick. I don't need any help. I'm good. You wonder, well, why are you here? You know, you see a guy lying up on a stretcher talking about, I was just pretending. No, I'm not sick. I don't need no help. I'm good. That That's kind of crazy. It's kind of unbelievable if, if people are in the hospital and they just sit there saying, I don't need help. Well, my thing is, could the people that do need help, could they take your seat? <laughs> if you don't need help, you need to leave. That's my thing. And it was just like that in Jesus' day. Jesus would tell the religious leaders, look, I didn't come for you. I didn't come for you because you know the scriptures inside and out. I didn't come for you because you here every day performing your rituals, performing your religious routines every day. I didn't come for you. I came for those that are sinners, those that you are not preaching to, those that you're not reaching out to, those that you're not helping, those you don't care about. Those are the people that I come for, people that can't help themselves. And early in Jesus's ministry, Jesus makes sure that everyone that listened to him, that listens to his words and his ministry, that they would understand the reason why he came. And he wanted them to understand, I came to help. I came to heal. I came to rescue. This is why when people say, I don't need Jesus, it baffles me. Because as soon as they get into trouble, Oh, Jesus, help me. God, help me. I'm like, you said you didn't need Jesus. You said you didn't believe in God. Why are you calling out to a person you don't believe? That makes no sense. But still in all, deep down inside, the spirit man calls out to the creator that created it. 
Whether you believe or not in the physical realm, that spirit man deep down on the inside is, is calling out to his creator. You cannot stop that. So here, when we, we look at Mark 2.17, there's two meanings behind the reason why Jesus said he came to heal, he came to help, and he came to rescue. The first is our relationship with God cannot be based on our goodness, but based on our confession of our need for Jesus. It's not about how good you are. It's not about how great you think you are, but it's about the confession that comes out of your mouth that you need Jesus. We all need Jesus one time or another in our life, two times or another in our lives, however many times we need him in our lives. We need him. And he is there to help us, to heal us, and to rescue us. It's, it's like the sick man in a hospital pretending he's just fine and we know he's sick. Why are you pretending you're sick? Just confess that you need help. Say, hey, you know what? I, I'm really sick. I need some help. There's a lot of people that don't, don't cry out for help because they're either embarrassed or they think that no one will take time with them. They don't want to be a burden. I'm like, yo, if you need help, you need to find that help. Now, the second thing is followers of Jesus are called to build hospitals, not castles. We're to build hospitals. What are hospitals? I would look at that as churches. Churches are like hospitals. The sin sick come to church in order to be healed. They come to church in order to be saved. They come to church to be rescued from all of their headaches, all of their issues, all of their problems, all of their disappointments in life. Yes, I'm going to say this. There's a lot of that in the church. A lot of people say, well, there's hypocrites in the church. Well, where else are they going to be? They need to be in church. If you don't have them in the church, who, who are you going to have in the church other than the Christian critic committee? <laughs> so my thing is for the church hospital should be open to the prostitute, should be open to the drug dealer, should be open to the pimps, should be open to the hustlers should be open to the thieves, should be open to the murderers. See, those are the people that really need the hospital of Jesus, the church hospital. They need the church hospital. Now, we should seek out those, just like Jesus did, who are in need, rather than protect ourselves from those who might have issues. After all, every one of us needs the great physician, which is Jesus. No one is beyond their need of Jesus. No one is beyond the need of Jesus. We need Jesus. Regardless how you feel about it, regardless of what you think, regardless of what other people may think, we need Jesus. So when you hear people say, I don't need Jesus, you don't have to debate with them. You don't have to get upset. You don't have to fuss them out. Just pray silently on the inside. Lord, touch their heart. Lord, touch their mind. That's the powerful weapon right there. That's one of the most powerful weapons we have as Christians is that inside prayer. But most of us want to be renegades and Father, in the name of Jesus, I command you to come out of that person. There's a time and a place for that. You know, you don't want to bust out in public Talking about, I'm here to cast out devils. Well, they have a, a award just for you. There's places for that. And this is why when I say, I don't need Jesus, it's rhetorical because I know I need Jesus. I want more of Jesus every day. Let me close with this. Father, I confess my need for you again today. Confess your need for Jesus. Every day, confess your need. He doesn't get tired of hearing from you. People get tired of hearing from you, but Jesus doesn't get tired. I'm just as in need of you now as I was 10 years ago. 
The Spirit of God, help me to love the sick around me like you love them. That's kind of hard for a lot of people to love those that are sick in their minds, in their hearts, in their spirits, their emotional sick, their emotionally um, distraught, they're physically hurt, they're spiritually torn, wounded, but we need to love them. Just love people. That's always gonna be my mantra, to love people. Love, love, love. Just pour love on people. You don't have to get indignant with people. You don't have to get jealous of people. You don't have to get back at people. We just love them. Just love them. We need Jesus. This is Strength for Today's Man. I'm Malachi Mitchell. You guys go out and make it a blessed day. Introduce someone to Jesus. And I'll meet you right here on the next podcast. Be blessed.